Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Tuesday morning, February 21st, and we're looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. I hope everybody had a very nice, relaxing three-day weekend. We come back into play here, and uh, right now, markets under pressure. Remember, on Friday, the market gap lower, had a really nice rally uh, late in the day, but never was able to fill the gap. On Friday in the ES and SPY. Overnight on Sunday, they couldn't take out the poor high. Remember, uh, ES said two poor highs now, Friday and Thursday. They're still in place. Couldn't take that out in the overnight. This is Monday's shortened session, and now this morning. We were 15 wide um, in the overnight on Sunday. I'm in twos now. Or th uh, yeah, I'm in twos. I'm not sure if this is exactly 14 wide, but right now, market is pressing lower. Possibly, possibly looking to take out Friday's low. Remember, the daily is down. Look at the SPY. SPY didn't have um, any shortened session yesterday. Basically, a double distribution day from Friday night to overnight, which, by the way, got above Friday's high, and now this morning. Now, NQ and Russell have back-to-back -back inside weeks. So that's something to keep an eye on, right? That is, they're tightening. So at some point, they should get out, come out of it, and hopefully with some pretty good energy. Right now, NQ is trading right around Friday's low in the pre-market, and overnight, they've gotten below it. And as far as the Russell goes, same thing. They're um, inside of Friday's range. They did dip below it in the overnight. So it's going to be interesting at some point. They will be coming out of these, I would think, coming out of these double inside weeks this week. I believe we have Feb minutes on tomorrow. I think we have PC on Friday. So the market still looking uh, to get um, break away from this balance. As far as we're concerned in the S&P, the monthly is up, although an inside month up so far has failed. The weekly is a three-week balance and the daily is down. Well, we'll look at the charts in a minute. That three-week balance is around the 400 level in SPY. So it will be interesting if we get down to there. As far as a game plan for early this morning, well, again, um, we're going to be below the 20-day moving average in uh, in SPY um, once we open by about four bucks. Now we're going to be above the 50 by about eight. If we gap, depending on the size of the gap. Now Friday's gap was one of the full few gaps that have held this year. I think we've had 16 or 17 gaps out of 32 trading days. That's only the third one that held. So if we do gap, we'll see how big it is. We'll see if it holds. Remember, we had a 10-wide point of control, which was going to be a downside destination. That is now an upside destination. So if we were to open at the lower end of the range and push up, maybe the first time, see if that's a speed bump at that level there for a short and again, against value high. As far as a long play, can you take one against Friday's low? You can. I'd probably, more importantly, take one against the overnight low with the history of front run in both these overnight highs and lows in both the SPY and the ES. All real early plays. And then on the chart, so let's look at the charts real quickly since we haven't done it since Friday. So here's your monthly. The monthly is up. Although right now we're pre-market $4 lower than last month's high. So we've gotten above that inside month a bunch of times so far, but have not been able to hold it. So that's something to keep an eye on. Obviously, we're never going to get to August high if we can't stay above last month's high. All right. So right now the monthly is up, but struggling. The weekly is a three-week balance. So if we take out Friday's low, the weekly would not be down to me. For us to be down on the weekly, we'd have to take out the week of January 30th's low, which in SPY is 400.28. That's where my balance uh, low is, okay? So balance rules would come into play today if we were to push down around that. So it's a three-week balance. It'll be start of the fourth week today. And the daily is firmly down after coming out of this balance to the downside on Friday. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.